So my friend's son does this really cute thing where they install games on their phone, and then for weeks after, they keep getting notifications saying that their village is under attack. Can you do that on the web? Now you can. Now you can. How? Basically, what happens is you register your service worker, you then ask it to subscribe, the user to push message, it shows a little dialogue saying, do you want to allow this to happen, yes or no? So hopefully then the kids won't actually enable this at that point. But if they do, then that point you'll get a special token that is for that user. Send that to your server, keep it. When you want to trigger a push notification, um, you can then use that endpoint, send it a specific request, and that will basically wake up the service worker on that user's device and go, cool, there's a push message. What do you want to do about it? At that point, you can just show a notification. You can go back to the server and say, hey, what was this for? Um, you show your notification, and then you can respond to click events. Nice. So that's literally like the whole end-to-end -end flow, start to finish. So can push notifications, can, with the push API, can they show me like images? Can I include content in there? What can, what so can I include? You can do title, title text. You can do body text. You can have an image to the side of the notification. And you can also do buttons now as well. So you can actually add like two buttons that you can respond to. So I can to. show an image saying that my, you know, showing that my village is on fire, but also yes. a button to like, like extinguish the fire fantastic. or watch it burn. Watch it burn. <laughs> I don't know it's what you're into. It's got very dark very quickly. <laughs> um, it's also interesting because now we're looking at doing native notifications for um, Mac, which is really nice because it means that we get rid of our own notification like center thing. We're now going back into like native notifications and their trays and whatever else goes with it. Um, push notifications are not a Chrome only thing, right? No, so they're in Chrome and Firefox at the moment. I think other browser vendors, once they start doing service worker, they can start looking at it as well. Sweet. Um, there is some bad stuff with Chrome in the sense that we, have to, we use GCM, so we have some proprietary bits. What's this, of, what's this GCM? GCM, good point. Google Cloud Messaging. Okay. I've been drinking the Kool-Aid for too long. Um, so there's some proprietary bits that you have to do for that, but again, there's new specs that are coming up that will wipe all of that out. So then, because the moment you have to go into Google Developer Console, you have to register for an API key, nah, all of that's going to go away. Um, so you just have one API, one set way of doing this um, that all the browser vendors can then take and use. It's going to be so much better. If I'm correct, we have a code lab on push notifications as well. Yes. People can check out. Which is well worth doing because that one is regularly kept up to date. I think my old blog post at this point has probably seen better days. So basically you're saying don't visit your blog under any circumstances? Oh, that's that's just a blanket rule for all of my content. But yes, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, there is a blog post and it'll step you through all the guides and it also goes through GCM and how to set all that stuff up. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Oh, and um, if someone wants to like uh, simulate push notifications, uh, DevTools lets you do this, I think. Does it? Yes, it does. Mm. Oh, is that the bell icon? That's the bell icon. Yes, and you can do that from Service Worker and Tools. Cool.